the time for me to cook for my wife. It's her birthday, so I'm steaming the meat. I'm going to cook for them jollof rice. Birthday jollof. And this is my tomatoes. I'm just about to blend it. So those of you who want to learn how to cook jollof, there I am. I'm going to teach you how to cook jollof very well. I wash my ingredients. This is tomatoes. Just about to blend it. I've done the first season of my meat. You didn't. You didn't watch. Maybe you are not even around. But now it's going to happen like I'm blending my tomatoes. Blended very well. Then we'll see what we can do. <laughs> Some to go know. This is not Nigerian jollof. I'm cooking Ghanaian jollof. So, yeah, rice water. You know, Nigerian jollof is rice water. And this is going to be pure Ghanaian jollof. And um, I, it's a birthday jollof. So, it's jollof that is within um, the Ghanaian context. So, it's Ghanaian jollof. And I'm trying my best to make sure that we do it. So, yes, uh, let's see what is on the fire. See how it's boiling. We're boiling it well so that it will become better. You can hear the sound of it. I, I, can you feel the scent? Can you feel the scent of the steam meat? You don't feel the scent? Okay, so I've set it on fire. I wanted to teach you something. So watch it here. This is the saucepan. Usually, the under part here is supposed to be the direct place that must go on the fire. You see people's saucepan getting black, brown, and spoiling the side. It's because usually when you light your, your fire, for example, this is a digital one. So, okay. So watch it here. You see the fire here like this. When you put a saucepan on it, make sure that the fire doesn't come out of the system to come and hit the saucepan. So this is the size of the saucepan. And the fire must hit directly under the saucepan where we are. That is what it means. So you watch it here. It's just this part that must fuel it. Wipes. Please watch. Most of you are spoiling your saucepan because you think the higher the fire, the better but the fire hits only here not the side so every time you come is brown or is black and you also check the size of saucepan you put for example look at this small saucepan if i put it here the fire is all around it's gone on the side so it will spoil the saucepan because it's round if you want to put it here then i'm going to lower it to the last place which is not going to help you see right now it's not going to do anything so it means that i'm using the wrong fire for it this size of saucepan, it has its own fire you can use. For example, let's see the size of burner here. This is bigger. So when you use such a saucepan like this, you get a fire right under the saucepan, round like that. So this size of saucepan can go down here and things will become okay. All right. The same way, this small saucepan can also go down here. But it means that on a lower temperature, the gas is out there. You put it here. This saucepan can do the same as well. So that is what that is what I'm teaching you. I also want you to learn how to manage it. Let me still go and blend my my thing quickly. I really want to make a smooth paste because I'm going to do tomato stew for my jollof and I want it to be a pure, very very you know smooth paste so I can use it for it. I'm live on Facebook. I mean tomorrow happens to be the birthday of Mrs. Councillor Lutrot, the one and only um, woman behind uh, me as Mr. Councillor Reverend Lutrot. Alaji Lemuji, my wife's birthday is tomorrow. So I'm trying to cook a meal for them tomorrow. 
So this is jollof rice that they will eat. I'm starting the jollof today and I'll complete tomorrow. Hey, if I own, I'm taking two days to cook one jollof. What is the problem? I mean, uh, tomorrow is going to be the birthday celebration. We'll cut a cake and we'll drink some things. It's social distance and I'm doing the food myself. So I've done that. I think the next thing I want to do is to get my onions. Uh, I like seeing how far is the meat doing. Okay. We're cooking the meat. I'm going to get my onions done. We are cooking, we are cooking. I'm cooking. Counselor, are you trust in the kitchen? All right, so I'm going to do that. There's some good jollof rice and um, what do you want? I'm cooking. I said you should go and sleep so that I can cook. Eh? I'm cooking jollof, birthday jollof. Uh, if you bring questions, I'll answer. Let me see what is happening. What are the questions down here? Oh, you're watching me from the US. Oh, congratulations, Barbara. Barbara, I'm teaching how to cook Ghanaian jollof. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, oh, what's the matter? Hey, come and learn how to cook. Come. Yes, the chef in Ghana. Thank you very much. I'm the best chef in Ghana. Very simple. Thank you so much. I'm, what do you What do you think you are doing? I'm cooking poison. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow it's going to be super. Ah, uh, thank you. So it's aroma, not scent. So they say I shouldn't say scent. I should say aroma. Can you feel the aroma of my spice meat? Aroma, aroma. And can you see the vapor of the aroma? Woo! Let me see. People are here. I see people who are live here. Okay, can I connect them? I see all of you who have just appeared. Your faces are here. Wow, wow, wow. So now you can feel the aroma. I mean, they say I should say aroma and not scent. Scent is not for cooking. Ah, uh, scent is for ampit. What <laughs> you So that is scent. Scent is what you Oh, I say what you I say is scent. And then when it comes to food, you don't say scent. You say what? Hey, can you let that boy leave? Hey, leave the fridge. How do you go and put your time in the fridge? Come and learn how to cook so that in the future I can cook for your wife. You are... A small boy is just one something years. He has to learn how to cook. Okay, so we are seriously cooking here and uh, I am here to answer all your questions as you cook. Oh, I can use you go. You are fearing, you are fearing the scent. <laughs> Like people, what is it? Fury, yes, thank you very much. Hey, I'm cooking. You think what? Yes, two days, Jolof. I'm in a stew today and tomorrow morning because the Jolof must be eating early morning at six. And we have we have work to do. Mama still go to work. It's bad day. My, I mean, we'll not go to work, but I have to do that. The kids at home they can eat. Proud. Yes, thank you so much. I mean, I, 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 I wish you can. Can you feel the aroma through the mobile phone on, on WhatsApp? Sorry, on Facebook. Do you feel the aroma on Facebook? Wow, in Italy, this scent. The, sorry, I'm still using scent. The aroma is going to kill all the coronavirus in Italy. Wow, what a, a vaporizing. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's different. I still, I have to blend and see how far the tomato puree has become. And I'm cooking seriously. Let me go and check. Let me check how the puree has become. This is a six blade blender. 
six blade blender so i want to have a smooth space because um if it's not getting smooth it will not help your period to become so you're cooking i'm going to do my onion very very soon and then Alright, so I mean, it, it's gonna be jollof with some good um, vegetables. The reason is that it's good to have some vegetables in in in, in your jollof, and one of the vegetables that gives some good energy, we all know, is not uh, anything but carrots. So I have carrots here. You want to do well? I'm, gonna, I'm sure I'm gonna do my carrots. I'm gonna cook my carrots well, and I'm gonna you know do something good with it and you see so definitely it's all about what we are doing we are, if you don't know how to cook a Ghanaian jollof it's time for you to learn how to cook Ghanaian jollof and you might not like my style but my style will be one of the easier ones you can do do some good gravy stew and then hey, do we say gravy stew hey, don't worry whatever it is Femo flow. Yeah, fry. The one to fry. Nah, for carrot. Who the carrot? Kaklabe boom. Well, eh, one 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 shadan tibro for you. Maybe can you now watch you? Now we say yes. Yeah, this year me huni Adriani no aroma no aroma no no aroma me huni. Ne di enma ebo tingu for them. Me feel it for the oh my god. So I'm going to do something with the carrot. Usually people say peel the carrot. But I don't like peeling all the things on the carrots. I believe that the carrot is meat. They wash it, you know, they wash it and wash it and wash it and wash it. And we buy carrots, we are chewing diet, we don't peel it. So I don't know why we always want to worry us when I go to school. They teach us peel the carrot before you cook and whatever. I'm going to show you how I want the carrot to be. I want the carrot to be very soft in my jollof. Uh, I was going to do um, fresh beans so that it will join the carrot. Well, I, I, I greet all of you. You know that it's good for you to cook. Uh, I tell people that in this life we're living, to, to be a husband is to have a wife. So if you don't have a wife, you, know, you are not a husband. But the duty, what I'm doing right now, honestly speaking, is not my duty. So entering into the, what do you call it, the kitchen today to come and cook, it was by permission. So I asked permission to come and cook in the kitchen today, and that's why I'm in the kitchen cooking. So I'm, I'm trying to chop, we don't cut, I hear it's chop. Chopping my carrots enough so that it will become okay for us. This is carrots that I'm trying to do, and then... Can you people allow you to come and learn how to cook and stop disturbing me? Ah, what is it? Come and learn how to cook. Swala is in the kitchen. So we have just asked permission to come. I, I came here by permission. So as, as a man, the kitchen is not your area. So usually when you come here, there are things I don't know where they are. Hey, Philip, stop. Sorry. These boys. Philip, stop. So I've come into uh, Madame's kitchen. Today she has been asked to leave the kitchen uh, by permission. And remember, I don't know where everything is. So my girls are here. Some of the things, they will show me where they are lying. So I'm not here alone. So when you hear people talking, please know that they are here. Selena is here, Lady is here. They are giving me more support, not cooking support. Because Sally, they don't have cooking skills more than me. They are laughing. They did see yesterday night. So once a while, they also come and cut the team. I'm not supposed to cut all. But they are giving me more support. They are cooking uh, the log. I check and see the meat. Did he check if the meat is meeting itself? Only stir it, not chew it. But I know you like chewing cooked meat like this. Is it cool?
Oh, wait, go back. Is it cooked, really? Yes. It's cooked. Are you sure? Ten minutes. Yeah. Is it how many minutes? Ten minutes. Okay. So then they say we should give the meat ten minutes. So what we'll do to the meat is that we'll come back to come and fry the meat. After spicing it nicely, we're gonna fry it. I forgot it. I like tasting my carrot to see if the carrot. The sankara is nice. Sankara is not nice at all. Sankara is not sweet. So I need a smaller saucepan here. Eh? I'm going to spice my carrot, cook it, and I will not throw the water away after cooking it. The design I want to see in the food is what I'm doing to the carrot. Do you understand? The type of the design you want is what you do to the carrot. So I'm expecting a particular design in my jollof with the carrot. So that's why I'm designing it before cutting. Understand, and I don't want it to be too thick, so I measure it with my eye. So it's just um, simple jollof. Actually, this jollof, there's no weed in the jollof. Some people put jollof and they put weed inside. I'm going to fry my meat in, uh, in a deep fryer. We're doing our best. You, might, you can decide to call it carrot jollof, but remember, this is not Nigerian jollof. I always want to remind viewers what I'm cooking here is not Nigerian jollof because Nigerian jollof is rice water. You know, rice water, Nigerian jollof. If you take it, you can eat it like aye banku, it's a ball like that. But this is a local. Ghanaian genuine jollof. It's also not rice and stew. Like the way some of you think. There are times that you believe that if we are doing jollof rice, it's rice and stew. Uh, I greet all of you, uh, especially those of you in the US. Most people in the US, they don't know how to cook jollof. I don't want to mention names. But those of you who don't know how to cook jollof in the US, you know yourself. You, you know you don't have to cook your love. You know yourself. I greet you wherever you are. Oting. Bema, who didn't your love? Oting. If I were to be you, I will just come round and come and learn. Oting is no good at cooking your love. Frank, Frank Entry. Where are there? Frank there is he's a hustler. He, does, he has no married yet. So, on to him, Kakranka, Kakranka, Frank there, Charlie, at least. Nipa, on me, I don't mean the. I mean, so I didn't jollof no one. Hey, babies. Hey, babies, what do you want to do? If you ask me, I think I don't remember. One day, compound day. <laughs> so, um, I've done something with my carrot. And I'm not going to put the carrot in fresh. I'm going to... I'm going to also spice the carrot. I, the taste of the carrot is not nice for me. So, I'm going to put a sweetener on, on the carrot. So that it makes it nice. Because when your carrot is sweet... It, it's able to wash itself into the stew. The other child said, So, carrot near that, I will hold on, she will go for him, not for him, I had it. What did the other child say? Okay, so let me do my period again. I wish you the aroma of the. I put a paste in it. I've got my carrot. I'm just about to do my onions. You know what onions are? And when I took the onion right now, the onion gave me the access to Philip, get down. Philip. Philip, she got me. Are you boy? Only one day kitchen problem. See, how I'm suffering here. Permission to cook. So, in summary, 
Nyama ya ini Sorry, if, if, if you can't see, if, if you can't see, tell me because you want to see the ingredients. My cameraman is, my camera woman or camera girl is not correct. If you want to see the ingredients, you want to see the ingredients, you want to see the ingredients. I'll share with you that when I took the onion, Sorry, you can hear the background. I know. Sorry, it happens. I, I remember uh, Prophet Prophet Samson Amati with his no onion lifestyle. I can't read your comment there, so don't worry. So then I read a comment there for you. Well, let me answer. Start. Okay. So you you always want don't to turn it you don't turn it uh huh yeah let him see my face yes go ahead you always want to fool why do you always want people to insult you okay because the insult is what I live by uh, any other message even those oh, ones don't read those ones they are not correct good job oh, oh, no, no. One and know is uh, the video that is trending right now about if you want to choose a woman for marriage, choose a beautiful woman, but make sure that the woman is not smelling. So, one and know, but then check one and know, Kunima Fata, oh, yeah, that's a girl. So, what Gamma in here, I mean, the best cooks in Ghana are very simple people we can think about, and then I'm coming, I'll tell you the simple people you can think about in Ghana when it comes to cooking. The Fanties are very good at cooking good stew. And good food the same way the guns the guns are very good at cooking and i'm not saying that ashanti don't know how to cook the ashantis don't have time for cooking as anti four need time for cooking sorry uh sorry eh? but whatever it is Sorry, I think the aloma of the thing changed the the style. And uh, don't worry, the camera girl. I say read the messages. Do that mistake again. You see what I want you to do. Okay, so I was telling you the type of the tribes in Ghana that know how to cook very well. The first group of people who know how to cook very very well are the girls. Many lady homo wah nigga. So the fanties are also there. Fanti Fonsu Nebiani Pa and Chichiro and Chichiro. Ebiani and T said, Oba Bema Echo for Fantini Befia, Umbre Cra, Oba Bema on ye on phone, Oba Nebiani. Now the other is, and yes, asante for when we be ani no awo. Nasi kapeni ti asante for nta. Adi omo na na dudang kwa. Thank you for the water. Nasi kapeni ti. Come here, here there's a lot of troubles in the thing. Let me see. Why is the place dark? You can't see what I'm doing. Sorry, you are seeing windows. Is a camera woman who I told you I'm in the kitchen with a, a fish camera woman. Sorry, uh, those of you who are not seeing the video of what I'm cooking. Sorry. I have to go for the tripod. So, all 
right, so um, back again to history. What are your questions? I've done what I'm supposed to do. Um, did it? I'm not the only person cooking the food. So I've done my onions and then clear the onions here and then go and do this here. Oh, for the sake of Philip, don't try this. They have to just when they put it on here and they hold it, it will go. So that you can bring it to the calf. Predica knows where it is. Okay, so oh counselor, you can't even slide onions. Ah, are you normal? Mini crack banana. What is wrong with you? What is this? It is the camera person who refused to show you that I'm sliding the onions. It gets slides. Slides or slides. Sorry, sorry, it slides. Sorry, it's okay. Slides and you say slides, it's okay. Whatever it is, there have been something. Hold the camera, let me do the thing for them and do something again. Like that you see what I'm saying. Mango, I see. Put it on the thing, let them see that I'm cutting the onion. Is it cutting or chopping? I'm chopping the onion. Concentrate on the thing and stop what you're doing there. When you say read message, you can't read message. What is the message there? Why are you wearing the small girl to read? Because she's the camera woman. <clears throat> read the messages for me. What is the question there? What do you there? think you are doing? I'm cooking poison, jollof rice. Asante no, knows how to cook papa. Ah, ah, so I'm saying that, I'm saying that when it comes to cooking, it's not that Asante don't know how to cook, but the problem with them is that because they are money oriented, profit oriented, they spend more time in business than coming to cook. So, you see, they, their food is very difficult to feed and lie soup. It takes a long time. So regularly, they like to take time to cook what they want to cook. You said I didn't slice the onion. I just did a slicing of the onion for you to see. Sorry, whether it's a slide or slicing, it's whatever it is. It's aflo, sabulai. Na sabulai, aflo, sabulai. Mango ase sabulai. Okay. Elves are the best when it comes to cooking food. Uh, you see, when you say elves are the best when it comes to cooking food, put it on the ingredient for them to see you. When you tell me always are the best, uh, I will not argue with you. Maybe if you are an Ewe, that's it. But if you are not Ewe, then you have dated an Ewe before. That is why I say that Ewe's are the best. Do you understand? Uh, too many hands. One kitchen I came. Where do you come here? I told you, they are coming to learn how to do this. So you see what the meat they are steaming it clearly and then uh, I I want to eat this. Um, Councillor, please, what are you cooking? I'm cooking Ghanaian jollof, not Nigerian jollof. Ghanaian jollof. Ghanaian jollof. Ewes are good cooks. What makes Ewes good cook? Tell me. We can see you. It's in a bag. It's in a black bag under the seat. Panties are the best. Panties are what? The best. What makes panties the best in cooking? What makes panties the best? Please. Don't start with what you can. I, I am saying that when it comes to cooking. There are some tribes that they can easily snatch, snatch your husband with food. People who like food, one. There, there are tribes that like food. Girls like food. That is why all their song is food. 
Look at one you. You don't want you. Go and tell you that you. Oh, 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 oh. You are not from the UK. Why you? You don't know. He, every song is, 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 is. Every song, every song a gamma will sing, there is food in it. Why? Because we like food. So if you say people who can use food to take your husband from you, one, Ghana people are good at cooking. Airways are good at cooking. But the challenge with the airway is that, are you sure you are taking me or are taking the window? Are you sick? Are we cooking window or tea? Sorry. They said take the thing, I'm taking window. One kitchen and found myself. Everybody's coming to learn to cook. What is the meaning of that? I could have locked the kitchen door and sack everybody out of the place. No, I'll do it myself. No, just go and distract the thing. this time all of you on Facebook you can feel the aroma of the can you feel the aroma please you have to feel it if you are using a good phone from Wuhan China where coronavirus started you should be able to feel the aroma of the food what are the messages there um hello counselor please don't shout at Frederica Chai, easy on her. Take the thing closer to the team. <laughs> I will eat all. <laughs> you are not serious. Don't worry, I think that I have to do justice to some of the things that is happening here. Okay. can see here unfortunately for me there are people that will cut onions and when they cut they start crying me have been cooking for long so i've cut the onion and nothing is happening to my eyes see my face is clearly after cutting onion you know what it means it means that i've been cooking see somebody cutting onion and they are crying after cutting onion <laughs> okay, so there we go. We are still cooking garden jollof. Thank all of you who are watching. I see all of you. Of you see ghost handful. 
Sorry, eh? I'm not giving them credit, but they're just disturbing me. Okay. Yeah, so we are back online. Sorry for the unwanted. Okay. So you see, with a tripod, you can be stable. Counselor, please come. All right, so let me see my food. Thank you for the clap. Thank you so much. He said, well, I should allow him to continue his beef with Obini. We love you, can Oh, don't worry. I know most of you are asking, why am I not replying to Canada Japan? Canada Japan is not my focus. <laughs> you see? Canada Japan is not my focus. The conversation you had earlier was about if... Hey, my meat. Oh, my God. Um... See, I was using the highest level of fire, and right now, think that. Aje, what is that? Okay, so I somebody asked about Kennedy Gifon. He's not my focus, unfortunately. The truth of the matter is that uh, a question was asked: if the things Kennedy Gifon is doing, honourable. Can cause Obinin's church to collapse. And my answer was that none of the things he's done, per my analysis, can cause uh, Bishop Daniel Obinin's church to collapse. So that is where I came in. I, I am not for Kennedy Dupont. It's actually not part of. Give me another small suspense to put my. This thing, uh, suspense that I can use to cook my. Philip! Philip, I don't know if you are. What bishop? So, if you ask me, don't touch it. When it passes, it has passed. Don't go and bring it. You should be able to see it fast. Sorry. If your message comes and she doesn't read it, means she's not fast. She be a fast reader, free SHS. So, that's, that's my, my thing. So, the beef between. Kennedy Japan and um, and Obini. Those of you think that we should enjoy it, if you continue. I don't. I'm not for that because we are dealing with with a servant of God here alongside a church member. Do you understand? So that is it. Any other message there? Do the better cooking. Thank you for your encouragement. Any other message? Hey, my Philip don't follow easy. My Philip don't follow easy. You're reading fanatics. You don't have to read. My Philip don't follow. Okay. You're reading like a girl. Oh. Stop. Get down. Jimmy Fu counselor, look at your kitchen. Ah. Yes. Hey. Even when people cook on gata, you go and eat. People cook on gata, you go and buy and eat. And I'm cooking here, you say what? I'm not cooking outside, I'm cooking in the kitchen. See the five burner stove is on, on a gata. You, can, you can't be coughing these days. Please invite me. I will invite you at a proper time. <laughs> wow, you can cook best. Read the messages that come when you come. Read. Mm -hmm. No message. Yes, I've read them already. You always insult people who are richer than you, Abu. Madam High Sense so looks great, but cabinets with many colors make you fire up better. Great job like the onion. I want to marry counselor. Get 
I want to marry Kansela. We are married already. Um, those insulting counselor, what's the size of your problem? Cooking and fighting. You are actually an inspiration for me. I love you. You are my mentor. Thank God for your life. I won't die now. I'll live long for you. Great cook. Thank you. Counselor, I'm coming home. Like, like it's social distancing. Nanda have food is social distancing. This food is not for anybody. It is a birthday jollof. Birthday jollof. I'm, it's, it's Madame's birthday, and I'm trying to do some jollof for her. All right, so it's birthday jollof. Great counselor. Bravo. Thank you. Poverty must die. Poverty must die. I I I I applaud that. It's true. Yes. What a game. It's, it's not. Stop staring too much. Thank you very much for your advice. Chef Wan, well done. Thank you. I like you, but you insult too much. Am I <coughs> okay? I don't insult people. We we'll don't say that. I share my opinions on issues. There's nothing like insult when it comes to me. You are keeping too long, la. Ah, I eat the one cookie. I eat the one cookie. Don't take me. Really. Focus your camera where we are going here. Then you focus on me. I'm sorry, I'm teaching you how to video. I have to use the things now. Social distance. Well done. Free minded man. I beg, take the food past America. I beg, my mouth is watering. Uh, yes, yes. Uh... Come on, woman, you want to see your face? Please, your face is not my <laughs> I, I will always cook jollof for my future wife. Better for you. Counselor Nye. I like I like the kid already you, you insult too much. Those people are very important. Don't read their message. They are learning. They want to take us back. They yes. can't derail us. Uh -huh. Yes, I know. Wow. From Italy. Thank you. I'm going to start my stew. Everybody, my stew will be cooking that bowl. So, if push my saucepan and bend in the side, side of the thing. So, I hope somebody has learned something. I've told you, I've just shown you, I've shown you how to uh, position your saucepan on fire. I've told you that you should always be careful where you position your saucepan. There are most of us that we put our saucepan and we make the fire so high to the stand that it burns the whole saucepan. The under part alone is supposed to have the effect of the fire. That is why our non-stick saucepans get spoiled very, very early. Yes, any other question? Please speak gas smaller. But in you won't hold your love. You won't be okay. Ghana, I won't be okay. I be me. Many the enough be ke game na me le do mo wa ni wona wa ya ke game le ni wo mo fi mo fi amo e wo ke ga ni wo ni e ba ni e ke o wo ya ya ke game am e wo ni bo na gesikle wo flo mi o la woni jon e wo am e am e ke ko je ga ma no ke o ba em wo ni me fante ma mo bi ale mi wo jolo wo ina ye fo mo bi wo be bi madam be bi wo mi wo jolo ma she a be fan am e je poison jolo fun wo mo lo to ma yi na what is going to come now? What is it? 
I need to discuss something with you, my counselor. Well, I'm cooking. When, I when is the best time to call? When I finish cooking. Tell counselor Obinim is not from God as he claimed. When when God was calling Obinim, was he there? Don't read their messages. They are people. We are learning. Listen. Why don't you cook tomorrow? So I'm cooking in two parts. What hey. kind of meat is that? All right, so so I've, I've just come to miss my tomato spirit, you see? Okay, so the blended one is also there. My meat now looks very, very presentable. You see, it's well cooked now. I'm going to fry it. So I have my deep fryer here. I have deep fryer. Hey, very good. So I have a deep fryer. I'm setting my oil. The oil should be warm before you pour it in it. I use a deep fryer. I told you I don't come to the kitchen. So actually, my coming to the kitchen, I'm a visitor. Because I'm a visitor, I kept asking for directions. Okay. want my deep fryer to be very hot oil to heat up before I drop. I need a bowl to pour my meat and wash that what do you call it I want to cook my steam in that bowl such a way that the stock will be part of it so my jollof will have reduced salt all that i did this lift up your vertical they are the that only lift up your vertical they like playing too much let me just tell them to shut up your voice uh, where do you do it here okay thank you all all right so that's the meat but i i pour it i'm heating up my deep fryer the stock is part of the, the the reason is because I am not going to add a lot of spices to my stew. Almost all of them have gone into 
Et le mix. So I will not separate the meat. Okay, so let me educate all of you. People cook jollof, and when they cook their jollof, no really, me. When they cook their jollof, they usually <coughs> sorry, end up not having the taste of everything because it, me, me. The season goes into the meat. And when they cook the jollof, they don't add the meat to the stew. They separate it and it's working somewhere. So the meat that has been spiced usually is there. But not inside the stew. But when you put the meat in the stew, it has its own way of washing itself. Like I said earlier, about four then it makes the stew nice. But if you fry the meat, keep it separated somewhere, and then you expect that your stew will be nice. All the best ingredients you use to spice the food is in the meat. Do you understand? So it's good to go cook your stew with the meat. Alright, let me have some questions. Okay. Bini bini food. So what? Bini bini food. What is bini bini food? Um, I don't know. You don't read well. Don't read well. When you see that you can jump it. Read it and then let them come and laugh at Akufa. What is there again? Oh, our borders have been closed down. Yes. I don't know how true it is. I hear Akufa do this. They keep saying this thing, but they are trying to tell you it's a lie. So, span is non stick, but it's sticking. Maybe in Africa, we buy non stick, that will stick. Pastor Reverend Counselor Kuka. <clears throat> this title, you have to pay for using this title. <laughs> Mini mini food me. <laughs> you know, I hope you are not taking window. No. Because you are just laughing there and then you go and take window. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'll do to you. People are watching, people are seriously learning. Invite me when you finish. You don't watch and then do some things. You know what I'll do. <laughs> oh. Mini mini food me. <laughs> hey, madam, I'm coming to visit you. Where do your marks? You wear marks in cooking. Is that what I'm asking? Where's my marks for cooking? How will I hear the aloma? COVID 19, there is putting all of you in some shape. I'm cooking too. I should wear those marks. This so, is so. This is why some young people are dying anyhow, insulting elders. So the death, they need to come, so don't worry. Those that must die, they know they are going to die very soon because they do do that insulting. God bless your brother. I'm available. So we are trying to, my deep fryer is heating up, so I put my meat in it. I'm going to fry the meat. But for now, my saucepan is also ready for the stew. My oil will come very soon. I'm using poor Selena. Counselor without makeup is ugly. When people write insult, don't read. People are learning. I'm not a woman, so I don't wear makeup. Don't wear makeup, so don't worry yourself. Counselor, you must start doing stand up comedy. Oh, I enjoy watching you. Thank you with your comedy mentality. God bless you, Counselor. Once the oil 
Yeah, it's all boiling. Take the temperature. Yes. So I'm going to put my meat in it, eh? Is that all you have? There's none here. My shell, I beg, I beg. Is it what? My shell, I beg. My shell will come with this. Learn from your dad and blessings to your beautiful family. Thank you. God bless you. Exactly. Okay, so doing my possible best in trying to fry my remember that it will be dark because of the stock. And I'm frying it with the stock so that I keep the whole thing to the stock thing in here. I'm using a deep fryer. Am I invited? Yes. I love you so much, Counselor. I love you too. This one, huh? Okay, so that is there. I'm going to pour oil on it. Okay. Let's take windows and I'll do it. So, we're using a deep fryer to fry. Greeting from Spain, Counselor. Thank you. Mr. Chef. I've done my oil and it's vegetable oil. Vegetable oil for the tomato spirit. Please come right well for me. I think I'll need more oil because it's a lot. Let me add some to it. Counselor, please, what's your greatest motivation in life? Failure. Counselor, if you finish if you finish, call me to join you. So let me let me tell you something. Are you taking me? Did they check if this girl is doing the right thing? So what is happening is that people think that when you fail is bad. But my greatest motivation is the losing mentality i have a mentality of losing so i work towards a goal to achieve if you go into an examination there are two things you are expecting it's not one thing you are expecting that spirituality thing that we do it's good to be spiritual but one of the things you should be looking up to when you go into any venture or any business is to have what we call the losing mentality. And what is the losing mentality? Losing mentality is for you knowing that there are two scores in every business you do. There are two things you should expect when you're into any venture. One, winning. Two, losing. So when you go to examination, it's either you pass or you fail. Both of them are marks. So you can't go and write examination and come with F and think you didn't do anything. You did something. If you don't write at all, nobody will give you F. They'll give you nail. But once you write, it means that you are tempted and you have F. And F is a mark. If you are not comfortable with the F, you work towards the F to go and get a P. So my motivation is the losing mentality. And I'm always ready to make sure that I don't fail, but when I fail, it becomes a motivation for me as well. Even this jollof I'm cooking, by any chance, if it doesn't go well, 
and it becomes like Nigeria jollof. You know Nigeria jollof? It's cocoa. It's moist. But Ghanaian jollof, See my mouth? Yes. So that is what it is. That's my motivation for the one who has a question. Yeah, any other message? Must you advertise everything you do? I have a huge following that they are supposed to learn. So it's not an advert. I am teaching. And it is one of the good things. I'm teaching people how to do things. So I don't know. I, that's why I come in. I think that when I do it alone, it will not help. But one of the issues is that tomorrow happens to be the birthday of my wife. So the whole family... What you see? So I'm doing my best for you to see so you can learn. So that the things I tell you, you know that they are practicable things. They are things that are okay. You keep losing track of the thing. Yes. We are focused now. See how the meat is suffering in the oil. <laughs> when I hear they say that people are witches and wizards, I buy four quarts on them. Yeah. Joseph in Bedding, wherever you are, this is meat. Yeah, friend. I come to wanna. I know some people are very hungry as I'm doing this thing. But they are far away. It is the birthday celebration of Mrs. Councillor Lutrot. And Councillor Lutrot has nothing to do than to make sure that he cooks this particular meal. It's not by request. Though. It is a standard. It's an SOP. So, I'm going to make sure that I start the stew now. My tomato spirit is ready. My meat is in the deep fryer. And uh, my onions are here. You saw me cooking my cabbage. And I told you why I'm going to cook it. And I've done so. People decide to leave it in a certain way. But I cook it. Okay. So right now you hear show. What is the sound? How do you say it in English? Thank you. We are learning something. So I'm going to put my onions in the oil. You hear the sound? Okay. It means that the stew has started. Sorry. I have started the stew. Watch it. I won't put all the onions because... I will use parts to do the jollof. My tomato spirit will just come soon. But it is the next thing that will come. So the onions will simmer for some time. 
and right from the onion I'm using tomato paste this paste you know tomato paste is good but you can't put it I see people putting it directly in the stew and using the spoon to crack it the easier way is that you dilute it slightly slightly diluted I don't want the onions to be overcooked I put parts in the jollof remember that the purpose of onion is to build your immune system there is that ingredient in the onion that is able to build the immune against any type of uh, what do you call it during this COVID-19 you need more of onions in your meal you need more of garlic in your meal I think that the meat is fairly done but I want it dry up small because you know in the jollof because of the cooked rice it makes your meat become certain way so I will let it cook I'm frying the meat for it to be dry you know there's a particular dry form of meat that is done specially by the Muslims or the Awuza people. When I say Muslim, sorry, I think the Awuza people. They can fry their meat and it becomes a granache. You know a granache? Love a few can shine. When you call that, you feel terrorizing, terrorizing. What I want to do? Go back, go back. Okay. So I'm still cooking it. Right now, the onions are here. I'm going to make sure I can eat it. Onions are good. Immune system. It helps you build antibodies to fight bacteria in your body. It helps you produce good flames. So onion. Then the next thing is that I want to put my tomatoes here. And this is the paste. So I'll bring the let it simmer for some time. Then the next thing you will see is the paste itself. I blended my tomato paste with fresh onion. Uh, pepper fresh pepper so fresh pepper blended is what okay you know that meat very well <laughs> how can you know the meat <laughs> you know the meat I'm cooking very well why <laughs> some of you <laughs> How do you say you know the meat I'm cooking very well? Why? <laughs> Point of correction. Anybody who thinks that you have powers to take uh, <coughs> any power from the food I'm cooking, forget it. Even the aloma you can't get and taking power from the food. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Why slave queens wonder why you leave so why right, finally I see that my meat is about to go like Benny. Please cook you see. It's a little bit. Oh, So I think I'm ready to, you see the color has changed. What you have to see and observe is this. Philip, she didn't look at that me. She didn't. You see, the paste has now moved to it. Okay. So can I have the other paste?
So my tomato spirit that I did, the first one was a sweet paste blended with pepper. Okay. So another tomatoes have just come into the game. Remember that the basis of this one secret about my jollof is that it's going to be called the tuna flakes jollof. Tuna flakes. Tuna flakes. I'm going to flex tuna into it. So I poured all my tomatoes now. Stir it. Now at this time, I'll show you when the stew is, do is done. See the color? Look at the color now. Look at the color of the stew. Do you see it? So when you're cooking, when you go and eat some stew and the color is like this. Ebeko, open super chow. I'm sorry, but I didn't have to share some, some joke with you. Somebody had, had tomato stew and started having rhinos tomato. And I was shocked. Until one day I saw somebody who has finished cooking, a young girl who says she has finished cooking. And uh, you see how it's happening. I show you the stew, the color of the stew. No, 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 no. Hey, people, right now it's like the meat is not drying, it's burning. I'm burning up. I'm burning up. My heart is on fire. I'm burning. Boom, 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 brother. You remember that song, Charlie? Old song, Chaliba is good. All I'm doing here this evening is to cook jollof, tuna flakes jollof with um, chinalo for my dear wife. Tomorrow, by the grace of God, happens to be my wife's birthday. 12 midnight today, we'll cut the birthday cake. It will be historic that you are cutting cake at 12 midnight. Yes, because we want to enter into the next day with cutting of cake we won't wait till six o'clock so those of you who want to enjoy our party this meal shall be eating at dawn because the next day starts from 12. so this jollof nobody will eat till 12. man can nearly exactly at 12 o'clock we we'll eat jollof uh, the national day of fasting so that is all is happening now Yes, you are seeing too much of oil because we are going to cook jollof. A very good question you have asked. Uh, one of our friends just asked that he is seeing, or whether he's a he or a she, seeing too much oil. Unfortunately, there's not too much oil. It's called enough oil. The reason is that the jollof rice must have the basis of oil. So, if you don't have oil in it, you have challenges. So, that's, that's one of the things, okay? good i'm going to put the things i'm putting in it is that i need some good sweetener so there's going to be sweetener in it uh, a lot of things um can you see this too <laughs> we, are, we are doing our best can you see the painful thing is that when you buy four kilos of meat, before you finish frying, it's become, oh God, see how the meat has become small. Oh, so this is an advice for husbands. Your wife will you take plenty of money and come and buy four kilos of meat before she will cook it, fry it, then it becomes just two kilos of meat then you are not understanding whether she's chewing in a chicken hey did i say chicken or kitchen oh my god <laughs> it's serious i love you too my dear all right so i think my meat looks better now my my meat looks better now and i think that i want to Make sure that my fire goes off and then collect my. I know this is, I say it's cow meat. How do they call it? Type it for me and let me mention. I don't like what Shatawali and Sakodi are doing, but give me another name. 
Chinalu. I don't like what Shatawali and Sakodi are doing. How do we call it in English? What is that? The meat is okay, ka. <laughs> Gina. Gina bo bakwe. Wuna bebe. I want to see black. I told you the, the meat is going to be black because of the the season. Or is it the stock? Yes, the stock. So what is it's not meat? Who we'll give you the right name? When it's not cooked, it's called meat. When it's cooked, what is it called? Low. <laughs> I guess it's right, Gina. Gina is a guy, is it low? Low, low? Lolo. So by the grace of God, our stew is on fire. And uh you know, don't worry. As for coming to chop some, the thing is that if you ask for my Google location, unfortunately, my Google location comes with mobile money. So once you send me over money, I'll give you Google location. If you are watching me and you have the Facebook contact of Josephine Bading. One of my friends on Facebook, she's called Josephine Bading. Please send her, search for her, send her a message, and tell her that she should come and watch and learn how to cook tuna flakes jollof. Go and search for Josephine Bading. Tell her that counselor says you should call her to come and learn how to cook tuna flakes jollof. She's called Josephine Bading. Please go and search for her. She should come and learn. Because this Jollof, she has to learn how to cook and cook for her family. I am not saying she doesn't know how to cook Jollof. Don't go and type what I didn't say. Do you know her? I didn't say Josephine Bading doesn't know how to cook Jollof. What I'm saying is that Search for her on Facebook and tell her I say she should come from the stew. She has missed how the stock was made. So this is my meat. Or oh, finally, Shatawali and Sarkodi. <laughs> this is Shatawali and Sarkodi. <laughs> what does it mean? Beef. <laughs> So the, the beef is dark because of the stock. The stock that we did is giving us this color of the beef. I don't want to taste it. Because one of the things I don't enjoy doing is trying to taste my own thing. I will give it out to somebody to taste. And they have to give me... I, and you know when people are tasting, you don't need to give them big. So all of you observe. Okay. Why? Dede will taste it for us. Eh? She likes meat. You see, usually when you go and steal meat, you blow the air. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you cry? What are you coming to learn here? And take the meat and taste for us. How is the meat? How is the meat? It's perfect, eh? And you're chewing it. No! Okay, so they say the meat is perfect. Once it's perfect, that's okay. Then they tasted it. They are the team of people helping me in the kitchen. See, Selena. She's the one taking that bad video for you people. Bangu, I Selena. So finally, you see, the stew has changed. The boiling, once it's becoming thicker, you need to clear the place. You know, it's becoming thicker. So that's how it's going to be. Look at it. Remember, jollof is not rice and stew. The Nigerians are confusing you because they don't know how to cook jollof well. Or they don't know how to cook Ghanaian jollof. When you say well, these Nigerian people, they won't understand why I'm saying well. The original jollof recipe is from Ghana. So, ha ha ha, beef. Yes, I'm cooking beef. So, remember, 
there. Hmm. Africa is good. You can hold my camera for me, please. Okay, so there are a lot of things I'm going to do. I have to show you what I'm going to do. That's why. Because it's going to be tuna flakes jollof. Usually mine jollof tuna flakes. I told you there will be a lot of things in it. One of the ingredients I put in my jollof is this. See, it's big beans. I'm not, it's big beans. Philip, if you break the glass, it will not be good for you. So leave there. Cut him from the place. So I'm, I, because it's also a stock or the water around it. Now, this is what is going to happen to me. It's burning me, so I reduce the temperature. The stew. So the sauce on the beans, which is making it called the big beans. The big beans. I make sure that I empty the sauce. Ola, leave there before he breaks it. I just put the, the sauce on the big beans here. And the reason is that I'll come and show you how I'm going to mix it with the jollof. See the face of the stew. All Ashantis must come and learn. All airways must come and learn. Please, you are, you are live and you are shaking the team. All Ashantis must come and learn. And the same time, you. Okay, so it's tuna flakes. And um, I told you earlier, there are so many things that you get, they are sauce in water the flake is in water so because of the brand the flakes is in water so i need that water to here okay after the water so i'll tell you something now usually when you're having stew done and the stew has not gotten any meat in it. It boils like a drunkard. So, put on my face, let me give them a lecture. Not a window. Try and take. Okay, so, if you see the way the stew is boiling, it's boiling with a different speed because it's empty. Why am I saying it's empty? There's no meat. There's no fish. So it's just boiling like tomatoes that have just been guarded. You want to make sure that it will boil well. Then you put parts of your meat or fish in it. You see when I put the meat, the, the flake my first chunk of flake in it, the boiling speed has come down. Okay, the same way, I'm going to put some of my meat in it. Not all, some. The rest will go into the jollof. So that the to 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 will come down. Okay. I keep reducing my fire because if I don't do that, my hands will be bent. I imagine the way this jollof will be. Remember, the stew is not cooked at all. See the face. It's not cooked. It's, there's water in it. We are flowing. It's so for There are people who cook stew like this. The tea for him out. It's so Open them. In the edge of the stew, your saucepan. 
don't let it dry up because the taste of the meal comes to the edge so constantly make sure that as a simmer is there a word like that emotion no yeah no no well any message Is there any message there for me? Me take tuna is incompatible. Thank you very much. Let me educate the person. You, you are talking about compatibility. It's about taste. I hope they are not taking with you. It's about taste and not um, what you call compatible. Fish or tuna and meat. They are all protein and you can eat them together. I needed the tuna flakes. So, Ajay, tuna flakes, Ajay, the still just burned. I needed a tuna flakes in my jollof rice. So, let me cover this thing before it spoils my skin. This skin is very special, you know. So, where do you put napkins? Uh -huh, thank you very much. So, when you say they are not compatible, it, de it depends on what you call compatibility. Meat and fish. There's nothing wrong in chewing meat and chewing fish at the same time. There's nothing wrong with it. You're not supposed to chew one. Both of them can go. It's, they are not toxic. They are not poisonous. What? Sorry, 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 boy. Sorry, boy. Sorry, boy. The stew has bent you. Sorry, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to mommy. So, um, what I'm saying is that I needed a tuna flakes and the taste of the tuna in my stew. That is why I'm combining it. So, if you see the is 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 this a simple thing? So that's the, that's the thing, please. The other things I'm going to put into it. I need pepper, and uh, you have curry powder. Yes. Show that. Show them the way the stew is becoming. Yes, ma. Okay, so I'm trying to put pepper. You know, remember that I use fresh pepper. <coughs> but this is a secret with jollof. Ghanaian jollof becomes nicer when there's enough, um, what's the English name? When there's enough pepper in it. So I put pepper and curry powder in it. pepper and curry powder observe that throughout the whole of the cooking i've never made a mistake to put <laughs> i forgot that i need to use the other food to take pictures for history's sake oh my god his excellency the president tomorrow is my wife's birthday and I'm cooking your love for my wife. A message for my wife, President. Please tell His Excellency Nana Dudanka to send my wife a text message. Just because I'm cooking for her. Husbands. What's that? Husbands. Cook for your wives. It's very good to taste the thing you're cooking. Once, oh, that means it's not so. Everybody's on the miss. When I want to cook the jollof, nobody will chew miss in the jollof. All the meat you see will give all to the birthday woman. Hmm? 
No, no, it's hot. Do bend you. Please go back. I beg you. Please. I'm not ready to go to the hospital. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. One of the things I never did on my media, I didn't put salt in the meat. Yes. All I've long, I've not even put salt in anywhere. Give me. Any question? I thought you said you won't taste it. Yes, I tasted it because I don't use teaspoons to measure salt and other spices. So I have to see the taste of the meat so that my hand can measure the type of seasons I'm putting in it. You know that the stock on the meat had pepper in it. So I put pepper in the stew and I wanted to be sure that the pepper on the meat will not become too much. Because when you do jollof and people are eating and doing we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we, no, it's not good meal. You understand? Okay. So let them see the face of the stew. I want you to know when stew is cooked. There's still water in the stew. It's not cooked. Can you see it? Good. And uh, I'm gradually dropping the meat in it one after the other. Um, we do a lot of seasonings and because of brand show them the stew show them the stew can they see the stew boiling okay so mash cream shrimps i'm putting shrimps inside shrimps so this is shrimps it's also a stock. It's a season, okay? Yes, yes. All along, there's no salt, though. Mm. There's no salt. At the point in time, I'll leave it for you. We'll go for a commercial break. Before we come, you see, it is when the stew is ready. The carrots that I cooked, cook the carrot. I told you the carrot was not nice, but now you taste the carrot and see now. The sweetness of the carrot will make your jollof nice. So I have to cook the carrot with salt and sugar. And there's something else I won't teach you. I'll teach you that one. When you, when you die, no, is it die? <laughs> My daughter was wishing me a video did the last time. He said, "I wish you, you die." The thing has really bent me. Any message? They are still commenting about the oil. The there's oil. too much oil. No, there's not too much oil. There is enough oil. We're going to cook jollof. Because this quantity of stew here is going to cook a particular quantity of rice. So there's no too much oil. Is that right? Uh -huh. if it's, 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 we're going to put rice in it. Rice will go into it. And when it starts cooking, all the oil will go. I think I want to add more meat because I want the meat to cook with the stew. Remember I told you, if you separate your meat, you fry the meat because of the children, usually you don't have to cook it like that. This is a message. Counselor, how do you cope with negative comments? How do I cope with negative comments? Yes. Ah, they are, I told you from the beginning that my motivation is that if you go to school and write an examination, there are two things you should expect. Pass or fail. So negative comments might be negative to you, but will be motivational to me. I, I, everybody has their comments, and um, I don't expect everybody to agree with what I say. So when people are passing their comments, I, I don't get worried. It's insults that insults are not comments. So when you insult, I'll deal with you, and that is where I deal with people. But if it's not insult. But it's just a comment and it will sound negative. I'm okay with it. I'm okay. If it's, if it's, it's a comment, it's a criticism, or we have two things. People can criticize you or can critique what you do. Two different English words. 
it's better for you to critique people you got criticizing people usually it's not always the the right thing to do when you don't have the right frame of mind but i take it in a good faith and i work towards it but when you insult me i don't insult you back i only activate death grave when I want you, make it here. So that's what I do. Cooking the carrots will make it too soft. No, you see, once I'm going to cook jollof, this is what happens to jollof with carrots. If you put carrots in jollof, definitely it will become soft. And I needed a particular taste for the carrot. For that matter, what I get down, get down. This boys, they came to learn how to cook. See how they understand me. Sorry, I cook the carrots, so it will not go into the jollof early. Part will go into the stew, and the other one will go into the jollof when it's finally cooked. So I don't want fresh carrots. I want cooked carrots with a particular taste. So at a particular time, I'm going to put the carrots in the stew. And you see how it's going to be for the stew. So that's why I cook it. Is that right? Thank you very much. Where is your wife? Today is my wife's birthday. That is why I'm cooking for her. My stew is... You earn money in this live video. You earn? Earn money. I don't need money in this live video. It's education. We are teaching people. So actually, it's not, everything is not about money. People people don't know how to cook jollof, and I'm doing jollof cooking for them. Is that right? It's my data. It's my time. It's my exposure. I'm doing everything here for my end. Just for somebody to learn. Maybe you don't know. Somebody will be sitting right now doesn't know what to cook for the family. And as a husband, I, I hardly come to the kitchen. This one, I ask for permission to come. That's why there are a lot of things when I'm looking for, I have to ask for. Before they show me where they are lying. Do you understand? So come and see the color of the stew is changing. Bring it closer for them to see. They said next time, try banco and pepe. That's my favorite. Well, I'm not cooking your favorite. I'm cooking my wife's favorite. Corona Jollof. Yes, in the time of Corona, everything you do, they can add Corona to it. So Corona Jollof, congratulations. How do we get to taste this Jollof? All the people who eat, you have to send them over money and they will tell you how they were feeling when they were eating. Especially my wife. So you can send it on 0277 609 644. I just want you to be seeing the color of the stew. Bring it closer to it. I told you from the beginning, when the stew is getting cooked, it will change. The oil is changing, the stew is changing, and the aroma of the stew, there's a new aroma in the place. Even though the scary part powder in it, you can see it here. Perfect. We are moving gradually. Greetings from Linda, Switzerland. Hey, Linda. Long time. Sweet. Hope everything is okay. Good. You are my mentor. Thank you. From Ishmael Idrisu. Okay. Greetings from Germany. Thank you, all the people in Germany. Thank you for my award. Thank you for my award from Germany. Thank you. Thank you. So let me educate all of us here. One of the things we are learning is that when when somebody is a mentor, a mentor is somebody you have a personal relationship with. When somebody is a role model, it's somebody you know and you like the way they do things. So if somebody says I'm the mentor, far from it, once I've not met you before, I'm not mentoring you, then I am your role model. And you keep me up in doing the right thing at every time so that we are all learning from it. Is that okay? But it's okay, I admire that. Yes, that we are still learning, so we teach what we are doing. Is that okay? Okay. We are still here, trying to see. There's a taste I always want when I'm cooking. Still show them the face of the thing. Come 
机。Is changing. Thanks for your education. Thank you so much for being there. You say you are done. Just invite me. Why? I hear you. Where Where are you so that we can do the invitation? It's a birthday party, so definitely social distancing. Twenty five people with nose masks. And remember, once you wear nose masks, you can't eat. So if you are coming for this birthday party, it's a birthday party of Mrs. Councillor Lutrot, and um. You need to wear nose masks. Uh, yeah, or front, wherever you are, we look on your behalf. The chairperson of Council Literature Foundation from New Jersey. And um, we have to eat on your behalf because the trouble is that coronavirus has kept you away from Ghana. Let them see the color of the stew. People who know how to cook, they don't use teaspoons to measure salt and seasons. They use their hands. Have you seen the color of my stew have changed? Because the meat, the seasoning was dark. And it's washing itself, like I told you, into the stew. So it has changed the color. The earlier on, I told you that I put part of the onions in it. My stew is now at a stage. If you feel the aroma, it needs some fresh onions. Again. Now, this flesh onions that have just been put in the stew will also need some parts of the sweetener. We'll go into it gradually. The rest will go into the jollof with the water. Because the water will cause the stew to be a stew. Now you have to reduce the temperature, the fire, so that it will be. Ladies and gentlemen, It's, it's good to know what is going. At this time, we want to cook with some taste. Remember, I put one. I'm going to use two different. I take my stew. Yes. Councillor, please, how can I get some of your recorded messages? Go to my YouTube channel, Councillor Lutrot, on YouTube. When you go to YouTube, Councillor Lutrot, Almost all my videos I do, whether from Facebook, wherever it comes from, is there. Subscribe to the page and you can enjoy all the education we have done for people. They are there. All the materials are on YouTube. All of them are on YouTube. Please, Please put the list of ingredients here. Alright, so I'll let them type the list of ingredients for you. This also part will go. The rest will go and join the girl doing the cooking. So I put baked beans. And the reason for my baked beans is that um, either I use sweet corn. I want to use sweet corn or I want to use baked beans. Any of the two, I use it to my jollof. So this stew is jollof stew. And it's good. My education is that don't do tomato sauce. Without meat for jollof, it makes your jollof not taste nice. Most people will decide to do the tomatoes and then the stew is burnt. Then later, the meat is separate. No. You can still fry meat to come and chew, but when your stock is in it, together with the meat, it makes the stew a nicer one. And when your jollof will be sweet, it's dependent on how nice or tasteful your, what do you call it? Your stew is. Any other question? Please add the rice. So. Don't worry, we'll add the rice. Let your stew be cooked before you add the rice. Don't take window. Okay. Your stew must be cooked. Usually, when you keep on tasting, 
when you are putting everything. That is where you realize what is not in, what is in. I'll leave it to simmer for some time. Then I'll finally come and see what is happening to my sauce. Please go back to the stew. Eh? I'm coming. Can you feel the aroma of the stew? The color of the stew is changing and the scent is also changing. As I stare, see the color. I told you that when your stew is getting ready, oh my god. <laughs> is there somebody asked that well, when I go to eat dinner? Sure. This thing will be eating 12 o'clock exactly. 12. 12 midnight is when we we'll hit 27th of April, which is Madame's birthday. Yes. Come and show them the way the stew is. Come.
You can see the stew. Uh -huh. What's the stew? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is not my grand kitchen. This is not my grand kitchen. I told you constantly go to the edge of your bowl and work out. Good, work it out like this. Can you can you can you people feel the aroma of the stew? <laughs> can you feel the aroma of the stew? So you see how it's flying. The fresh onions I brought have given a design to the meal. At this stage, our stew is looking perfect. And uh, you're watching. Keep watching, keep watching. Share the page with your friends. Share it with them. Very important. If you know any woman who doesn't know how to cook, please share the page. We'll type the ingredients for you. This is called tuna flakes. Tuna flakes jollof. It means that it's beef jollof but with tuna flakes. The tuna flakes has its own taste in it. Yeah, no. You can see it. Oh my God. Come on, Lord, me happy. Which is and which is are getting close to the stew. So we leave our stew to do their best, but I'm still running test on my stew and reducing the temperature gradually because it shouldn't burn. I'm carving it slowly, but I've not finished. I've not finished. I've not finished at all. Covering it because we'll take it closer for them to see. And in jollof rice, you need more pepper. More pepper. You need more pepper. So I keep putting more pepper. I keep putting more pepper. It's overcooked at the rice. You say what? It's overcooked at the rice. Okay, I'll add the rice. Actually, I will not add the rice here. We are going to cook the rice in a different bowl. Do you understand? Kasla, take some of the stew out. No, we won't cook the rice. We won't cook the jollof in this bowl. We'll cook the jollof. I said we'll eat at 12 midnight. Exactly one past 12. We are all eating in this house today. The minute past 12, we'll start singing Happy Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. May God bless you now, Ibashi. May God bless you now. May God bless you now. May God for you to So it is about this celebration of Mrs. Councillor Lutrot, and that is all I'm doing. I'm doing Jolon Fries. The video is too slow. Slow. Yes, the network in Ghana is not like your country. I'm sorry. Very, very sorry. So I come and show them the stew. Testing my pepper. Comment. Any other question? You are so natural, you don't pretend. Yes. All too soon, our stew is becoming flow. And then, <clears throat> I told you, a jollof will be eaten at 12 midnight. Oh God. It's nice. As for your too much oil, they are keep seeing it, but it is because it's going to be jollof rice. You are learning it. That's what, so that the rice can have relaxation within it. Okay, thank you very much. Track is all the stew. Okay, so you on, on the on the US line. Okay, so WhatsApp me on zero two seven seven six zero nine six four four. But I'll go and check your WhatsApp <clears throat> immediately when I finish doing my birthday stew for my my wife. Tomorrow is my wife's birthday, and the, tomorrow we are doing our birthday party at only twelve a.m. in Ghana, and that will be what time in the US? That will be four o'clock. Is that right? Is it four? When we are 12 a.m., we are 4, right? Now, what's your time? I mean, somebody give me the time in U.S. So that, Mama, ya, now, now, me, ya, me, do, ane, Josephine, oh, eh, monsieur, do, ane, no, ah, oh, na, be, be, eh, do, no, um, ya, be, yam, boa, ka, monfre, mo, kru, no, me, su, asin, ya, no, ah, jolof. Abi, be, the beautiful missus. Your husband is too much. Okay, if you are saying I'm too much. Thank you very much. Well done, mister. Yes, I'm Reverend. Thank you. I know I'm a better cook than all of them. What is 3.49 pesos? Oh, okay. Three, three, okay, okay. 3.49 p.m. The time in the U.S. is 3.49 p.m. And what is our time here right now? We're 7.50. Jollof rice. Don't need much oil. Thank you very much for your education. You see the purpose. Is it going to be true? Will he do? Every day they come and lie to us like that. So, uh, Jollof Rice, we are just going to go. Remember that His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, will have the eighth section during this coronavirus time. His Excellency keeps coming to us. His Excellency keeps coming to us almost every time to come and tell us the state of the nation and our condition so far. So His Excellency will be speaking to us very soon um, on Ghana Television, Metro TV. All the TV stations will get it. Usually I do for you the translated version after he has finished speaking. 
ladies and gentlemen the next video you will see is the cooked jollof rice at this time let me say a big thank you to all of you for being part Jay, thank you so much um, Kenneth Kenneth you are the best Kenneth you are the best thank you so much counselor your contact please yes when I do find out ones that okay in Chicago is 7 p.m. in Chicago thank you very much my number was just dropped down there for me by uh, Naomi. Thank you so much. This is my number zero two seven seven six zero nine six four. For the number is there. I'll do my official running now before I go. In UK is one a.m. Thank you very much. In one a.m. in the UK, one one is twelve in Ghana. Okay, that's that's okay. Thank you so much for the time. Thank you for your loyalty. Thank you for me doing well. I mean, it's 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 not easy becoming counselor one in Ghana. Anytime they put you on one, they put you on a higher pedestal to perform well and do the best thing. So. I think so far, as to look at the color, it has changed. Now you can see the stew is cooking gradually. There's small water in it. There's water. So you see how it drops from the, from the spoon. Formerly, it was not like this. So we all see. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, please bring that. They are not seeing it. So position your video well. So you see, there's a change now. There's a change in the stew now. This time you can eat it, but there's a small water in it. So we'll leave it to simmer, and then when it's finally cooked, we are all going to listen to His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nanando Dankwa Akufuado, His Excellency, the main in charge of COVID-19 information with Koyu upon Kuma in the rest. But the President is going to address us. We all go and listen to His Excellency in Ghana. Right after His Excellency goes, I'll come and start my cooking. Thank you so much for being part. Well, the next video you see is my face wrapping up okay ladies and gentlemen um be here and focus on my face very well let me say thank you for learning how to cook this stew will nanado speak today that's what we heard when another will speak to the ears, we had something like that. And uh, usually, um, they say it and it doesn't happen. But per the videos and the comments we are having right now, His Excellency will be speaking very, very soon. Right here is 8 p.m. in Ghana. And we are heading towards 8 p.m. in Ghana. So definitely, we are hoping that another will speak to all of us very, very soon. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been my pleasure to cook in with you. I cook today because of my wife and um, cooking because tomorrow happens to be my wife's birthday. Happy birthday, Mrs. Lutrot. With this jollof rice, you are going to eat at 12 a.m. Exactly 12 a.m., we wake the whole family up and we pray for Madame. We let her cut a cake, historic cake cutting at 12 midnight. <laughs> I feel something. We'll cut cake at 12 midnight. We'll drink wine. We'll pray together. Then we'll serve jollof rice at 12 midnight. Why is jollof pancake? just 12 midnight because it is time for us thank you for being part of my video tonight my name is counselor george lutrotz and the husband of mrs counselor lutrotz whose birthday is tomorrow and i have been in the kitchen i think for about an hour or so or two hours now i'm cooking jollof rice and i'm cooking the stew just the stew is what has taken us all these hours because the stew must be well cooked this is not nigerian jollof I came to cook Ghanaian jollof, the best jollof in the whole wild world. And one of the best ingredients I never stopped using is Onga. You see my Onga? They supported me in cooking. Thank you so much, Onga. Thank you for your support, Onga. Happy birthday to my wife, Mrs. Counselor George Lutrot. Um, we ask God's blessings for you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. My number is 277 609 Six four four zero two seven seven six zero nine six four four. Those of you who might not know, Tuesday coming, Council Electro Foundation for Health, Diabetes and Asthma. We're going to do our second donation. The first one went to Kumasi Villages. Now we are going to Kolebu Teaching Hospital, Rich Hospital, Mamobi General Hospital to donate for them hand sanitizers, some water, some rice items. Veronica buckets. We're giving them um, tissue to clean your hands 
and some other things I can mention all of them here. But we're going to do that business on Tuesday by the grace of God. I want to say a big thank you to all of you for your support. Let me say a big thank you to the rest of you in the United States of America who are supporting the foundation from the president, the vice president, the director of finance, the media director, everybody. Yao Fran happens to be the chairperson of the Foundation in the United States of America. Thank you so much for your support. Dr. Quaising is our director of finance. Thank you so much, Dr. Felix Quaising. And Mrs. Gloria Quaising, Mami Edu, thank you so much for being part. That's our vice chairperson for the foundation. Thank you all. And all the friends who donated to support the foundation and is still donating to support the foundation. I say a big thank you. Mr. CNN is also there. Thank you so much, our media director. And a big thank you to our logistics moving director, who is Mr. Ike Donko. Park Banquet Hall 4229 is the hall. Just use it. Ladies and gentlemen, maybe thank you so much. If you want to give us support, you are in the US, you want to send us some money on our Zill account to help the foundation. Remember, not to me, but to the foundation. It is 862-215-2007. 862-215-2007. 862 If you're Ghana, you want to do Mumbo, 055-000-5077. 055-000-5077. The same way, don't forget, if you want to do Cash, Vodafone Cash is simple. What is the number? 0507-150-223. 507 150223. Stop cutting my hair. 0507 150223. And then for the Tigo Cash, it's 0277 Ladies and gentlemen, remember, remember this evening, we're going to do a crossover, but the crossover is going to be a birthday party. We're going to pray together with Mrs. Lutrot. We're going to go live on Facebook to do a prayer to enter into our week. But that will be a birthday party for Mrs. Counselor Lutrot. Love you so much, my dear. Happy birthday in advance. Some few hours from now, you will attain a very memorable age of your life. May the Lord bless you. On behalf of all your children, everybody around, from Philip, Frederick, Frederica, we have uh, Selena, one year. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. And we have Didi, the food taster, Asaluna. I just remember that I have to give Didi meat. Didi take the meat. Thank Small you. Small loaf. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, Frederica, come for meat. Frederica likes meat because of the grandmother. Yes, so I give them the last meat I left in the bowl. Thank you so much. God bless you. Please, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel on Counselor Luto. Go to YouTube. Just click on it. Tomorrow, I'm going to respond or reply to Honorable Kennedy Dupont's, um, what do you call him? Uh, what, what do you call the guy, his host or whatever? Tomorrow I'm going to respond to all the things he said. And by so doing, we'll have his dream being made. Take care. Happy birthday, my wife. Let me say a thank you to my wife for marrying me. Happy birthday in advance. I want to say thank you to my mother-in-law. Leave there. You're going to still meet. Come for it. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I want to say thank you to my mother, my mother in law for allowing my wife to marry me. And, and by the grace of God, the stew is done. Finally, take your last picture of the stew. And you know what we are talking about. Take it very well. Take it very well. well. Take it very well. well. All right, so finally, we're wrapping up for you. Well, You can taste it. Mm. Uh, it's hot. Alright, so my son wants to taste the stew. Mm. <laughs> Thank you very much. Lovely. I'll see you. Well, thank you once again. Blessings from above. It's been lovely. I cook the food myself. 
I just keep some for you. I can't wait for the Jolof. The Jolof will come very soon after we watch Nana Kufado. When His Excellency finished the, the speech, we'll come and cook the Jolof rice. Thank you once again. Bye for now.